India is a secular country with a heterogeneous population and the government has been very supportive of people turning to the religion for personal and family matters. However, in some cases where the judiciary has to intervene, things can get a bit tricky. And so, our constitution makes provisions for a framework of domestic rules to govern all Indians, the Uniform Civil Code. So what's the deal with the Uniform Civil Code? Here's a snapshot of the Indian scenario right now. Polygamy is illegal, but a Muslim man can have four wives. In terms of guardianship, a Hindu father is clearly favoured over the mother. And recently, the Supreme Court heard a petition under Christian personal law challenging the mandatory two-year separation period before a couple could opt for divorce. Not exactly the ideal situation to make all sections of society feel equal and secure. Under a uniform civil code, India's different personal laws would become regulated for all domestic issues ranging from marriage to divorce, adoption to inheritance. This would be applicable to every Indian citizen equally, irrespective of his or her religion. It's no surprise that the greatest beneficiaries of this code would probably be women. But some groups have strongly resisted the uniform civil code. A single code could potentially ignore the personal preferences of minority groups. As Hindu groups maintain that their own personal laws are the most secular and equal to both sexes, there is apprehension that any uniform civil code passed by a BJP government would retain India's secular nature only in theory, but lean towards Hinduism in practice. Unsurprisingly, the NDA has been the biggest advocate of such a uniform code. On the other hand, there is enormous merit to having a uniform civil code. Secular personal laws would help in uplifting women. National integration in enforcing an Indian's right to equality and of course, saving the judiciary valuable time. Despite popular opinion, a uniform civil code doesn't take away from a person's right to religion. It only acts as a limitation when situations are unfair. As the writers of India's constitution envisioned, it seems like it's about time to give the uniform civil code the legislative backing it needs to bring justice to the people. The Supreme Court has repeatedly asked the government to take a stand on the matter and as of last month, it looks like the government has up till November to make a decision. Sections of the public hope that the government will choose to consult various religious groups before taking any stand, while the others maintain that religion should be stamped out of laws for them to be truly secular. Whenever and if ever, a uniform civil code is passed, we will bring you the details.